All right. Awesome. So let's get this class going. So this is going to be a Pilates mat class. So this is all going to be with the core. Um, I apologize that my dog still thinks that she can stand in front of us. <laughs> Come on, Over there. Okay. So we're going to start this off. I want you guys to center yourselves on your mat, front to back, side to side, and we're going to lay it down. Can everybody see me okay? Yes. Yeah? Hi. Okay. So we're going to start it off. And if you want to play your own music, I can't hear you, so feel free. We're going to bring those knees up to tabletop position. Bring your belly button into your spine, lift that head, neck, and shoulders up, and start pumping those arms vigorously. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Two, three, four, five. Inhale. Two, three, four, five. Exhale. Two, three, four, five. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Two, three, four, five. Exhale. Two, three, four, five. Inhale. Exhale. Couple more. We're just warming that body up. Keep those arms pumping. Inhale. Two, three, four, five. Exhale. Two, three, four, five. Inhale. And exhale, bring the knees to the chest, rock it out side to side. So what we just did there is create a cheat from that core and just warm that body up. So it's going to be the bowl of blood. We're going to bring everything from the core. So next what we're going to do, we're going to run back to side and rock up to a seated position. So right here we want to find our center and turn our spine nice and straight. So we're just going to be tall. We're going to drop those shoulders down. Bring your belly button into your thighs. Bring the hands up to the back of the thighs. Create a little bit of power here. So there's going to be some tension in those arms. Soft bend. We're going to let one leg hover, other leg hover, and hold. So we're just creating that balance, getting our center alignment here, making sure that our shoulders are working and that we are breathing. We're going to drop one leg and then the other. Nice job. Let's do that one more time. So with one leg. With the other leg. This time we're going to do a little bit of a tap on your curling. So you're going to tuck that chin and rock back until those arms are straight and then lift it right back up, straightening out the spine. So round up that spine as you release the arms back. Come right back up and straighten out the spine. Let's do two more. Round it out. Let it go all the way back. Hold and then lift through the center. One last time. Round it out. And then straighten out that side, one foot down, then the other. Nice job. So now our pores are activated, our balance is activated. We're going to slowly break down, rolling down one vertebrae at a time. And let those arms come down to the mat. So with our legs bent, we're going to bring the arms straight up to the ceiling. Taking a nice deep breath in, we're going to tuck that chin, slowly articulate up off of the mat, reaching straight out over those knees and then slowly bring it right back down. These are super duper slow sit ups, but this is so you can feel every single bird right. So let's bring it right back up. Curl, curl, curl at the top, sitting tall. Taking a deep breath in, we're going to exhale and bring it all the way back down. We've got three more just like that. So cut that chin, slowly lift, lift, lift. And straighten it out and bring it down. Slow, slow, slow. Two more. Tuck that chin, curl it up, and straighten out that side and right back down. Last one. Tuck it in. Keeping those arms up, we're going to reach out over those knees and really straighten out the spine, drop the shoulders, and slowly roll it right back down, rounding out that back. All right, bring those arms to the mat. Nice work. Feeling it? Warm yes. up, huh? Okay, deep breath. Bring the knees to the heels in towards the butt a little bit closer. We're going to lift one leg right up to the ceiling. From here, we're going to rotate that leg out, around, up, out, around, up. The goal here, don't let those hips drop. Make sure the opposite leg is staying nice and steady. So out, around, up, out, around, up. we got two more. Out, around, up. Out, around, up. Now let's switch sides. Across, around, up. Across, around, up. Bring it around and up. Keep those hips nice and flat. Really squeeze that core. You've got two more. Around and up. Around and up. Let's switch legs. So 
plant that other leg into the floor. Hips are planted, abs are in. Bring it out, around, up, out, around, up, out, around, up. Keep lifting, keep squeezing. Couple more, out, around, up, out, around, up. Let's reverse that. So across, around, up, across, around, up. Still squeezing everything and breathing. It's the tricky thing to do at the same time. Let's do two more, around and up, around and up. Nice job, guys. Take a nice deep breath. Whew. All right, cool. Let's go into a little bit of core, a little more core. We're all, it's all about the core, but we're going to really just focus on this area here. So let's bring the knees into the chest, hug them in, rock it out side to side, just kind of massage out your back muscles to start this off. Okay, then taking your hands to your shins, we're going to roll the head, neck, and shoulders up off the mat. One leg is going to kick out to that high diagonal, opposite arm, hug that knee in. I want you to inhale. We're going to exhale, switch, and inhale. Exhale, switch, inhale. Exhale, switch, inhale. Now we're going to speed it up. So we're going to inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale. Exhale, exhale, hug those knees in, look that head from side to side, release the tension in the neck. Nice job. Okay, so let's roll the head, neck, and shoulders right back up. This time we're going to take the arms and both legs to the high diagonal, scoop it around and hug those knees in. So we're going to inhale as we reach, we're going to exhale as we scoop around. So inhale and reach. Exhale, scoop it around. Try and keep those feet together as you kick out. Exhale, scoop it around. We've got a couple more. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Two more. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Let that head come down. Woo! All right, rock it out. Move around if you need to. Shake it out. Adjust your ponytails if they keep hitting the mat in some few spots. That's why I only have mine half up. Um, I know hair, hair can be an issue. All right, next one. We're going to bring both feet straight up to the ceiling. First of all, I just want to take a minute here to kind of pedal those feet out. Get a little stretch in the back of the legs and really feel that right there. Also move around those angles. I'm sure if you've been sitting, this whole posterior chain is really feeling it. Okay, now we're going to bring the head, neck, and shoulders up off the mat. Separate those legs just a little bit. We're going to bring both hands to one side. And you're going to pull, pull, and switch. Pull, pull, switch. Pull, pull, switch. Pull, pull, switch. Pull, pull, switch. Keep this going. We want to make sure that our lower back stay nice and tight on the mat with that little pull, extra stretch on those hamstrings. Pull, pull, switch, pull, pull, switch, pull, pull, switch, pull, pull, switch. Hug the knees into the chest, drop that head up to the side. Nice job. All right. Next one, we can bring the feet down. Hands are going to go underneath the tailbone, and then we're going to bring those feet all the way right back up to the ceiling. So you want to get that little triangle right underneath that tailbone. That way you turn those hips under. We really get that C with the belly. Okay, from here, head, neck, and shoulders come up. We're going to squeeze those inner thighs as tight as we can. Keep those heels together as we bring it to a high diagonal. And then lift. Slowly lower and lift. We want to be three, two, one, and lift. Three, two, one, 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 lift. One more. Three, two, one, and lift. How do you do it? Woo! I know I was shaking with that one. A little thigh jiggle going on there because they were getting a little free. All right, good. So on this next one, we're going to bring those knees back to tabletop position. Hands are going to go right behind the head. Take a nice deep breath here. Bring that belly button right back in. Make sure that core is engaged. Hips are tucked under. 
We're going to lift the head, neck, and shoulders off the mat. From here, I want you to bring that elbow all the way across your knee, getting that oblique to engage. Then we're going to lift through the center and switch sides. And come back through the center to the opposite side. This is a modified bicycle. Coming back through and switching sides. We can go to full bicycle now and kick that leg out to the high diagonal. Through the center and switch. Come through the center and switch. Through the center and switch. Through the center and switch. Center and switch. One more. Through the center and switch. And hug those knees in. That got all through here. So if you need to just take a second, we're going to come back down to the mat. And just let our body breathe right here. You should really feel that breath. So feel that belly all the way up here. And then blow it all the way back down. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to do all of that again. So this is the second for your abs to get a little break. But we're going to go a little faster the second time around. So bring them easy to the chest, hug them in. You can take one hand to each knee. Head, neck, and shoulders off the mat. We're going to do our single leg pull. So, one leg to the high diagonal. We're going to inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Hug it in, relax that in. This is just to reaffirm that we've got these exercises down and we've got the breathing down. All right, bringing those head neck and shoulders back up. We're using this double knee pull. So pull it in. We're going to stretch out everything high diagonal. Scoop it around and tuck it in. So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, one more. Inhale, exhale, let that head come down. Nice. All right, speak to the feeling. We're going to go for our scissors. So head, neck, and shoulders up. We're going to split those legs. Pull, pull, switch, pull, pull, switch, pull, pull, switch, pull, pull, switch, pull, switch, pull, pull, switch, pull, pull, switch. Pull that zipper straight up and reach up everything in like 
like you've got that punchy zipper right here. And shoulders your back, so the blade drops down the back, long neck. So right here, we're going to take a nice deep inhale through the belly. And blow it out. We're going to lean forward, drop that head down, get that feet in the spine. Now inhale, we're going to sit back up. Exhale, relax it down. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, stretch. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, relax. Inhale, in. Exhale, stretch. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, relax. One more time. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, stretch. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, take it off. All right, nice. Now we're going to do another version of this. So keep nice and flat still. Arms are going to come out in two T positions. So if you can't see me from the side, this is what it looks like. So nice long squeeze, shoulder blades down, long neck, belly butt in again. We're going to take a full rotation. So we'll turn all the way to one side, look back at that back hand. We're going to take that fresh pinky finger and saw off our pinky toes. Okay, so we're looking back at that hand. Then we're going to sit back tall, come back to the center. And let's this time. So rotate around, saw off that pinky toe. Sit tall, then come back to center. Do a couple more. So rotate, saw off that pinky toe. Sit tall, back to center. Rotate, saw off that toe. Look back at the back fingers. Sit back up and tall. Let's rotate, saw it off. Look back at those fingers. Sit up to the center. Last one, rotate, saw it off. Sit up and center and take those arms out. Nice work. Okay, cool. Now we're going to take it to our belly. So let's roll it right over. We're going to do a little bit of back work, a little bit of jump step work here. So, hands are going to be stacked right in front of us. We want to make sure that we're in a nice, comfortable position. And the most important thing with this, the whole time that we're doing this, you want that belly button in so much that your lower abs almost lift off of the mat. That's the goal, trying to lift those lower abs the whole time. So hands down. We're going to squeeze those thighs as tight as you can. Abs suck in so that they're off that mat. We're going to kick one foot up. And when you extend this leg back down, I want you to try to lift the thigh off the mat. So we're going to squeeze and bring it down. For sides, we're going to squeeze and slowly bring it down. Now you can have your head down. I'm lifting my head just so you can hear me. Off the leg, squeeze and bring it down. And kick and squeeze and bring it down. Now let's bring up the heel a little bit. So we're going to kick, 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 Really squeezing, lift those abs, couple more, kick, 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 and relax. Woo! Shake those hips side to side if you need to really tuck that lower back a little bit. Just take it out. Okay, cool. Now we are going to bring our hands down. If you've got a little more flexibility in that back, please feel free to go for this here. I'm going to go with hands. I've got a little bit of a degenerativeness. It's not always super happy with me. So, again, we're going to lift those lower abs, making sure that our hip bones are planted to the mat, but our abs are up. That's going to be the trick. That's the hardest part here. And you got to breathe. All right, so hands down. We're going to lift the elbows off the mat. Everything comes up. Squeeze for three, two, one, and lower. Recheck everything. Make sure it's all engaged. And we're going to lift for three, two, one. One and lower. Let's do it one more time. Everything is squeezed. Abs are in, hips are down. We're going to lift for three, two, one. Now we're going to pull for three, two, one. Come on down. Woo! Shake out those hips if you need to. That's a great job. And then we're going to bring it up onto all fours. So we're going to keep this thing with a little bit of back work. I know you guys have been sitting, so we're going to get. That back working because it's probably a little sore from all that desk work. So, knees are going to go hip width apart, hands are right underneath the shoulders. We're going to lift the opposite arm and leg and hold. Take nice deep breaths, find that balance, really squeeze those abs in and up. We want to flat back here. We're going to bring elbows in 
knee and extend back out. And elbow to knee and extend it right back out. One more time. Elbow to knee, extend it back out and come back down. Reach back that center. Make sure your knees are underneath the hips. Hands are underneath the shoulders. Lifting up that opposite side and squeeze. Again, make sure that your arms squeeze, your, your glutes are squeezed, your abs are squeezed. We're going to bring elbows to knees and extend. Elbows to knees and extend. Elbows to knees and extend. Good. Let's bring that hand down. Nice job. Swing up those shoulders if you need to. All right. Now we're going to bring it up a level. So hands are going to underneath the shoulders. We're going to kick one leg back. We're going to take the other leg back and hold this plank for five, four, three, two, one. One knee down, other knee down. See how that feels? You just barely come up. Make sure the abs are engaged, your glutes are engaged, and everything will stay in a nice straight line. So let's do that again, but a little bit longer. Take one leg back, opposite leg back. We're going to hold for ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pike those hips to the ceiling. Get a nice stretch right here. Drop the heels to the floor. And we're going to walk our hands to our feet. And slowly come back up. Lifting that head, rocking the shoulders all the way back. I'm going to adjust my computer so you can see me a little bit better. There we go. Okay, cool. So we're just going to do a little bit of balance. So heels together, toes apart. Hands are going to go with palms facing out away from the body. This is your top, your Pilates power stance. So hips are in, abs are tight, shoulders are back and down. We want a nice long neck. Just take a couple breaths here. So inhale, fill up that belly. Exhale, fill it all the way out. Inhale and exhale. Bend that knee and kick it forward. 
bend that knee, take it back, bend the knee, and drop it down. Nice job. Shake it out a little bit. We're just going to take one last deep breath in to end this with a good measure. So, deep dip, take a deep breath in, and exhale. You guys are all set to go. Thank you for joining me. I'm so happy it works this week. I think I've got all the bugs out. Yes, um, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Send me a chat. I'll stay on for a couple minutes. Thank you. Uh, I hope to see everybody next week. I will teach Hit on Tuesday and Pilates on Thursday.